So the instrument that I'm going to use to measure the distance between the, the mirror and the, the target is this uh, laser distanciometer um, which was uh, given to me uh, from this uh, company PCE Instruments um, I used it other times uh, uh, and uh, I found it pretty accurate uh, let's have a look at the specifications to see if it is ok for our application uh, it says uh, the range 15 to 600 meters and um, precision plus minus 1 meter plus minus 1% uh, let's go outside and uh, try to measure and uh, then we'll try to put the camera in, in the lens in here so you can see also what I see through this uh, instrument how it looks like let's go So guys, you are looking through the uh, laser distance meter. When I when I press the button, you read the distance. You see, 103 meters. Or to that cross uh, in the middle. So we know how much it is. Uh, let's put it in the equation and calculate uh, how much uh, tracking accuracy is needed so we know D is uh, about 100 meters uh, A is the pointing uh, accuracy we want to achieve, let's say 0 0.5 meter uh, what uh, angle, what uh, angular accuracy do we need? comes from this equation so theta is a arc tangent of a over d which is arc tangent of a is 0 0.5 meter divided by the distance 0 0.28 degrees So how often uh, should the motor correct uh, the position of the mirror? Uh, let's calculate uh, um, how much is moving in a minute the, the sun. So 360 degrees of movement of the sun in 24 hours times 60, so it's in minutes. 360 divided that. zero point twenty five degrees a minute so approximately once a minute you should move the mirror to to obtain half meter uh, accuracy of the on the target So the procedure now is like this, I have to uh, move the mirror so it's uh, pointing again at the target uh, then I have to set the sensor in a way that is uh, in line with the reflected beam and, uh, and then I have uh, to connect the motors to the, to the controller uh, and do some uh, tests to find out what uh, polarity should the motor have so it turns in the correct direction to correct the, the error is more or less on target, I need to adjust the sensor this is a bit it's not stiff enough I should not move, I need to make this one uh, stronger but we can connect the, the sensor to the controller So 
I have to figure out uh, how to connect these uh, two motors on the on the relays here so that the motor uh, moves in the direction uh, that, uh, that it should No, it's uh, increasing the error like this so I need to swap these two wires so the motor goes in the other direction to reduce the error it should stop uh, automatically when uh, when it's satisfied, yeah, it stopped. So, like we, so from now on, this uh, vertical movement will be fully automatic. So we just need to connect these wires here and leave them connected, and then move to the azimuth movement. Okay, this is for the up and down is all right. Now let's check the the other movement. It looks like uh, the pointing error is increasing again. So I have to swap these two wires. They both stopped and yeah, and they do small adjustments from now on. So we just connect uh, these uh, wires permanently and uh, and, uh, and then let it uh, work automatically. Now it's uh, working uh, fully automatically and uh, you can see the uh, reflected beam on the on that green wall you see that uh, bright uh, circle that's the reflection from the mirror and uh, it will always stay there because the motors are adjusting the, the position so I think it can uh, it can be made even uh, more accurate, but uh, so far I'm uh, I'm happy with the result. Uh, it's pretty good. Is uh, within uh, one meter, maybe pointing uh, uh, precision at 100 meters distance. Not this, uh, this window here. That's where I have set the, the target uh, to of the mirror. <laughs> Can you see it from the inside? Yeah, yeah we could. <laughs> it was really strong light. Is it? Okay. Really blinding. And then let's go inside and have a look.
Yeah, it's, uh, it's compensating for the sun movement. <laughs> Wanna see how it looks from the window? That bright spot on the roof. That's where the mirror is. I hope you enjoyed it and um, subscribe to my channel Inch de Murtas for more videos uh, on uh, renewable energy and uh, technology. Bye!